So hello, 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 you all you prophecy watchers. Now I'm um, making this video from uh, Germany, from out of Germany. Um, welcome to the official YouTube channel of the Prophecy Watchers. Gary Sturman is back sharing the ancient prophecies of the Bible with his friends all over the world. He's joined by a longtime friend and man, partner in ministry, Bob Ulrich. Gary and Bob have an important message to share about the plans and purpose of the Prophecy Watchers. It's a message of hope and encouragement, grounded in the soon return of Jesus Christ. So, so they were built on 12-8-2014. 2014. Now, the last video. I checked here currently, so it's a very, very big issue. Trump, the temple, and the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Antichrist. That's one of them we went to. They're not the only one. There's also okay. Temple Mount Faithful. Now, uh -huh. We uh, have here currently. Now, there is something. It's about the temple. There is something I want to share. Man, you. it's got to be getting close. Yeah. So when you want to know how close we're getting in the last days, we, again, we can't be date setters, but God gives us seasons. We know it's getting close. Is pay attention to the Jewish people and the temple. Now, let's go into the temple. Okay. We were there just a couple months ago, Gary. And uh, you can see some photos there of me and the Temple Institute and things of that nature. We're on the Temple Mount, all over the place there. And one thing that amazed me, of course, they won't let you take uh, personal pictures of the actual items that they have rebuilt there in the temple. You can get them online, and we share them, of course, there. Yeah, back up just a little bit, because I want people to catch up with us. You talk very, very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> By the way... When he preaches, he preaches. But <laughs> okay, well, first <laughs> of all, I don't want uh, sorry. Now, first of all, you understand. So, personally, I have no who, idea who this Bill, Billy Crone is. Now, but he says here mm, that everybody, of course, knows Jesus Christ comes. And when the temple is built, then, of course, man, everybody knows this. The Antichrist will put himself literally into the temple. One second. Okay, because the temple's not there right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Well, and again, let, before we talk about how ready they are, and they, Gary, they are so close, it's not even funny. But what temple are we talking about here? This is why I try to keep drawing people back. It's not, okay, the Jewish people can have a temple, a temple. Okay, that's cool. No, we know prophetically, significantly, we all agree on this. That next temple that the Jewish people build will be the actual temple that the actual Antichrist will go up into halfway into the seven-year tribulation and declare himself to be God. Yes. That's the temple we're talking about. Right. The point for you and I as the Christian is this. That event called the abomination of desolation takes place at the midway point of the seven-year tribulation. We leave prior to the seven-year tribulation with the rapture. We don't know the day nor the hour, but if we see them that close building this temple that the actual Antichrist will unfortunately go up into and commit the deed, man, it's got to be getting close. Yeah. So, so, Okay, so now I got this. So this is a big issue. So first of all, the guys okay say, hey, we wait for soon um, Jesus Christ. Everybody who is not Jesus Christ, who will put himself into the temple? Well, he is the Antichrist. And of course, everybody knows, man, the temple, ooh, the Antichrist is coming. Now I will show you very quickly a little video I made yeah, in front of Rome. So, I hope you got that. So now, this was the seventh trumpet of tribulation. And guys, you missed the abomination of desolation. And you saw the white guy with the white dress? Well, this was the Antichrist. This was the Antichrist, my fear, dear friend. So now, let me show you when the abomination of desolation started. Visit... Pope Francis, Temple Mount. So, did you get that? Have you ever what, get this? Huh? That, hey, wait, the Pope, he came to the Temple Mount. Hmm? And you know what? Look at this. He put himself 
into the temple of God and declared to be God. Mm -hmm. You understand this? Do you get the picture? Now, you know when that was happened? Well, this was a year afterwards. Now, 2014, the abomination started. Well, this is 2017, 50 years, the Jubilee. Everybody missed it. Nobody saw, oh, we wait on Jesus. Nah, but the, never, the next person, well, he will be the Antichrist. Uh, who's the guy in white? Hmm? Anybody? Hmm? Anybody? Who's the guy in white? Uh, who's the guy in white? Uh, this is the Antichrist. Now, time and date. So, how many days between two days? The Pope visits the Temple Mount on 26th of May 2014. Donald Trump declares Jerusalem as capital on 6 December 2017. Oh, oh what a coincidence. Hey, wait a second. Are these some 1,290 days of the abomination of desolation? So let's go. Daniel 12, 11. From and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the, ab uh, the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be 2,290 days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to 2,335 days. Mm, wow, when was that? The first anniversary of the presidency of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Donald knows everything guys Donald knows everything and you are absolute bad watchers you have no idea you have no idea who the firstborn son of God is <laughs> nobody so uh, so the uh, when you go to Revelation mm -hmm. Revelation A now we take a new modern version here. Perhaps we have the numbers here. Ah, 1,000. Okay. There were two witnesses. Okay. You re now, there are twice 2,000, 1,260 days. Okay. Now, the, this is the time of the abomination of desolation. So when did the Pope come? When did the Pope come? He came on 25, 514 when the abomination, uh, when um, Europe, Europe voted. Now here is the key of everything. He, this is the firstborn of Israel. So Israel was created 14, 5, 1948 and at 70 years full, 70 years full, on five, uh, after the abomination of desolation was finished, five, 2018, you remember? So, so, no, no. so, this is the total of the days of Israel, the days of Israel, 25,567 days. Now, this is the day of the firstborn. So the Catholics, they defined who is Jesus Christ, you know? Who is Jesus Christ? Who is the Son of God? This little cookie. This is the center of all the church. And in the meantime, the well, the Son is not there. Well, you have the Antichrist, the representation of Jesus Christ. And they take the communion and take the Eucharist until the Lord comes. So when was the Lord born? On Pesach Sheni, 25 of May, 1967. This was the birthday of 
the firstborn son of God. So who is this in the Bible? For I am in Israel, I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Ephraim is my firstborn son, Ephraim. Now, to make you no, really, really to understand that Jesus is not coming back, His eyes are like a flame of fire and on his head are many diadems and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. Jesus is not called Jesus anymore. Hmm? So I'm the guy who received the white stone in Berlin four years ago. I blew the first time the shofar. Since 25 5, 2015, I know for 100% certainty, well, I'm Ephraim, I'm the heir of Israel, I'm the firstborn son of God, and I'm the firstborn from the dead, and I'm the guy sitting on the white horse. Now, because you believe all the time in Jesus, 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 prophecy, and it's so cool, well, you really missed what the Bible says. Well, there is a, the whore of Babylon. Well, this is the abomination of death. It's over. It's absolutely over. What you experience today, today, well, this is why people like this discuss who's the Antichrist, who's the Antichrist, who's the Antichrist, who's the Antichrist. They never ever take a look at who's the Son of Man. Never. Okay? The Son of Man. Yeah. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by God in which she is to be nurtured for 1,260 days. She gave birth to a male child, one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was caught up to God and to a throne. So what happened is, well, I'm the guy that was born in this on 1, 1, 2015, the seven years of tribulation ended trivially have ended so and now the 1260 days of revelation ended on the 72nd birthday of Donald Trump I started the time of testimony during the first sun eclipse exactly four years ago and ended on 31st August 2018 and put everything in a bag and handed in everything over to the Inquisition. Been in Rome and we put everything into the hands, well, of the Inquisition. Now, since then, well, Babylon will fall. Donald Trump knows full what's happening. Well, and here we go. It's all legal. And... This is the place of the sixth trumpet in Paris. Yeah? So the trumpets have been blown, all of them. All of them. You remember when you had bur paradise burning? Well, I was in Paris. Nobody listened. Donald Trump went there. Merkel and Macron, well, they killed the peace deal. They killed the peace deal. After 100 years, well, I tried everything. Take a look. The sixth angel who had the trumpet released the four angels who are bound on the great river of Euphrates and the four angels had kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Hmm? Yeah. The horses and riders I saw in my visions looked like this. Their breastplates were fiery red, dark blue and yellow as sulfur. The heads of the horses resembled the head of lions and out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulfur. Well, the yellow west, Paris, Joseph is the flame baby and I have been there now this was a Phoenix Arizona rising like a Phoenix this was a measuring of people is for me it was striking to find out I've been there everybody was looking and people are thinking oh man he's taking a look at the who, who's the Antichrist who's the Antichrist well the Pope is the Antichrist and this is the woman who rides the beast 
in the terms of, um, what can I say, of terms of the tribes, which was also, well, this here is Ruven, who is going onto his father's bed, and he, Donald Trump wants to have freedom, and he looks at this woman, and I'm suffering here. Yeah? She's taking the show. Why? Because the Christian, yeah, you believe in Jesus, yeah, you believe in Jesus, oh, Jesus is so holy, and whoever comes, well, he must be the Antichrist, no? And here you have them, the false prophets, leading you to blow. Now, today I saw a nice picture, this was from Paris, 1111, six trumpet, this was on 14.5, well, America is Israel, no? 13 arrows. That's what happened. John Hagee, he was there. He was there. Hmm? So what do you think is this little eye here on your money? Hmm? One, the one, the one. Here, this is your biggest problem. The Christians, they believe Jesus. Who? but they call, cast everybody in hell who doesn't believe this. And they think, oh, this poor, this poor Jews, you know, oh my gosh, they, they will fall for the enterprise because we know, yes, that they will, the poor, the poor Jews, they will be so stupid, they will not realize, when you they want do to know not know their own scripture, how can they? This is your problem, guys. And everybody, everybody who comes out and says, hey, listen, you know, you have to keep to your eyes, no. Yeah, absolutely not. You will go to hell if you do not believe in Jesus. And this is why you are the false prophet, guys. You're prophecy watchers. No, you're not prophecy watchers. You're false messiahs. You're false prophets. You're leading to a false god, Jesus Christ. He's not coming anymore. No? And uh, you fell, all of you fell for the Antichrist. Oops. No? That's it. Don't worry. I think, you know, I contacted... Uh, everybody beforehand this goes for three years four years now this is the problem the international christian embassy christian zionism people who think that jesus as long as they believe in jesus the jews are stupid no it's not true as long as you only believe in jesus you are stupid if you do not keep the commandments of god well your help your faith will not help you so that's me in the year 2033 and one buddy said, no, 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 you, you don't believe in Jesus. Ephraim, the firstborn son, he's dead. Mm, okay, so, so this is the lie going out from the year 2000 all over the world, into America, into the congregations, and to every freaking prophecy guy who thinks, oh my gosh, this poor Jew, yeah, they're so stupid, the Antichrist will come. No, the Antichrist came with Obama. No, he came. Hmm? And there were big buddies. There were big buddies. They loved us so much. Yeah, because here this is Obama, the lamb who speaks like a dragon. Oh, yes. The left agenda. No? Oh, yes. Child abuse. Oh, beautiful. No? Refugees. Yes. Oh, guck mal here. Oh, they're so, they love each other so much. You know. And this is why the left hates Trump. Because this is what they do. They hate Israel. They hate Israel. They do. They hate Israel. Yeah. And you'd love Jesus and fell for the Antichrist. And this is why you are in for a treat, babies. Man, the son of God, he's just a normal guy from Düsseldorf. <laughs> and you will freak out when you go onto my website, ulfdiebel.com. You enjoy and you will see. I have the key of David. I'm the, the true and faithful witness. Yeah? The beginning of the creation of God, the Ulf from Düsseldorf. And when you go to Zion, 5777.com, well, you can help us to bring us out and listen to the last trumpet. When the last trumpet is blown, well, then all dead will rise and the bad boys will fall. So, enjoy. See you later. And do not listen to anybody of these false and what not profits. Don't do it. Better tell them, hey guys, you're a bit wrong, make a sign up, 
Ne? Sein 5770.com. Ciao.